Hello, my name is Audi, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a little, little bit something different, a little something different. We're going to be making a how-to video. I'm going to show you guys how I edit my videos. This is just me. This is all just like my style. I don't really know what I'm doing, but like I kind of do. This is just how I do what I do for my videos. I went in, went ahead and recorded a gameplay video in advance. So we're going to be editing that video that I'll be uploading at another time, maybe. I don't know. I use Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. You're gonna wanna choose your software depending on the level of skill that you have. This is a very professional software, has a bunch of features, really good. You gotta pay for it though. If you really want to get into depth with editing, you're gonna have to pay for your software. You just, just gotta do it. I, I, I've been in the situation where I had to find ways to get free editing software. And I gotta tell you, it's much better to just pay for it. I know that that's not always possible, but whatever. We were playing the Stanley Parable. That's the game that we're gonna be editing here. And we're just gonna drag over our gameplay over to our timeline. Now, the way I record my videos, I use an Elgato. And so that means I can record my tracks, my audio tracks separately, which is key for gaming videos, especially. The next thing I'll do is I'll take my face cam video. And this, <laughs> this, I accidentally, I accidentally recorded this face cam with 4K 30 FPS and I completely did not intend to do that. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta take our live commentary that we recorded for the game. And I put that right below. Now that, I, the way I remember it is the green goes lined up with the green, all right? That's as simple as I can make it for this, for my situation at least. Uh, and then I'll take the face cam and the live commentary audio and I'll just synchronize it. And you gotta be sure that down here, audio is selected. Otherwise, it's gonna, it's not gonna do it right. It's like it's gonna synchronize it by the beginning points. And that's not what you want. You want it to be synchronized with the audio. So it's not out of sync or misplaced. I've had plenty of problems with this uh, before I really got into depth with the editing stuff. A lot of my videos in the past had out of sync audio at times or missing audio. It was a whole big mess. Uh, it took me forever to realize there was a synchronized bunt button built right into the software. Huge time saver. I wouldn't, before I would manually line them up and it never worked, which is why they were out of sync. This is, might take a little while, uh, considering that I do have an hour, over an hour worth of footage here. Okay, so now that they're synchronized, you'll see that the green has moved over and there's just a slight gap here. Uh, that's not too bad, but first what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna take it and I just line it right back up with the green. Remember, the green with the green. And then from here, this is where my intro starts. I don't know if you're able to hear the video that I'm editing, but this is where the intro starts, right here. This, uh, this is where I synchronize my audio and whatnot. Oh yeah, and you're gonna wanna pick one audio source. Otherwise, you're gonna have this weird sounding uh, overlay because it's gonna be double audio. So the one that I like to use is my microphone that I have hanging above uh, instead of my phone microphone. Now, in some situations, I will switch it depending. Uh, maybe this doesn't, maybe captures too much background noise or whatever it may be. Uh, you can switch it, it's just my preference. I like to use the one that's up here. Don't, know, don't really know why. They both sound pretty good. You probably couldn't tell the difference if I didn't interchange between them, but whatever. Um, anyways, so I pick a starting point where my video is going to start and I cut it all down the middle and delete the extra and ripple delete it so that it all gets lined up and boom. Now we don't have to worry about it becoming out of line, out of sync, because as long as everything on this side is synced up, we should be fine. It doesn't matter if the right side goes over a little bit because we'll end up getting that edited down. The next thing we're doing is we're gonna have to find a good pos a good position to start showing the gameplay. So in a lot of my videos, in the beginning, uh, I just talk for a little bit, explain what I'm doing, maybe, you know, stuff like that, and then I'll jump into the game. So what I'll do is I'll split it down the middle. Right here, this, I don't need that gameplay footage there because it's just gonna be me talking for a little while. Now, I don't color correct just yet. I color correct at the end of the video uh, because it does, it, it's very demanding on your CPU. 
the next thing I'll do is I will go into the effects over here and select my face cam footage. Now, I need to put this really small in the corner in order for me, for, in order for you guys to see the gameplay and the crop, all right? I'm gonna wanna go here. And I just cut out what I feel is right where I'm basically the, sh the shape around me, you know, just a little box around me. And you can just move it wherever you want. And that looks fine to me. I, like, I always just go either right corner, left corner, but mostly the right because of the way my camera is faced. Now I'll go throughout the whole video and take out spots where like maybe I feel it's too long of silence or whatnot. It, it really all depends. You can do whatever you want, but for the most part, you're just gonna watch the video or scroll or scrub through it and pick the parts you want edit out the parts you don't want and that's really all I do for gaming videos because you don't really need a whole bunch now I will color correct this footage over here just to show you uh, what I do to do that now I haven't color corrected forever I've only recently started getting into it because I want to get more professional at it uh, so we go over here to the colors tab and this it was just you know straight recording from my phone uh, I didn't use any log format or anything, which a lot of professional people do use for cinematic things. Cause it, it gives you more freedom when you're color correcting like this. But really it's all more of a, just a feeling thing. You just want to know, you just want to get an idea of what the colors should look like, you know? So we're going to look up our fast color corrector and we're just going to apply it to the footage. Normally you want to put, uh, an adjustment layer on top but because this is a gaming video I know right here we're not gonna it's not gonna affect anything but for the gaming video you put an adjustment layer on top it's gonna affect the gaming as well and that you don't want that. why not that <laughs> that that picture is as good as any all right so we're I like to do is changing the exposure so what we have here is our waveform our RGB that, that's what that is all right and here we can change a lot of people like to put their highlights up and just a little curve I just like to put a little curve right there okay now for color correcting right the red and green and blue up here show you the image how they look all the red in the image from left to right all the green in the image from left to right and all the blue in the image from left to right and these you're gonna want them to go close to zero and as close to a hundred as possible but you don't want them to go too far otherwise you're gonna get a crappy looking picture just like that <laughs> Just to get the white balance correct, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna mess around with the RGB curves, uh, all of them, even the white one. You, this is more for like your exposure, but yeah. This right here, this is what you use to see your colors, uh, how accurate they are, make sure they're not too overexposed, like this. If you'll notice, the stuff on the outside is what's making that look wrong. You want everything to be within that little circle. Um, I say that we were pretty fine. If not, we should go a little bit less. But I think I think we're fine there. Uh, I'm gonna give it more of a blue tone just to get that more cinematic -y feel. I'm gonna move down here. Shadows. I like to just put a little blue shadow tint and then a little orange in the highlights. Okay, I messed around with it a little bit. There's not a whole but a whole big difference, you know. I'll put this to full so you can try to see a little bit here. It's not gonna play quickly because of the fact that you know color correcting is really demanding on the process on the processor, and I am recording a video as well. But 
I can show you this video, a still from this, all right, compared to a still from the unedited footage. Now you can see a big difference there. All right, take notice. More black right here, more blue. This purplish shirt uh, is more purple. You can see the color a whole lot better. It's not as uh, washed out here. We can get a better, see, it's washed out here. The blue isn't as blue. The dark is more of a gray here. Uh, yeah. And I think this looks a whole lot better. The white, the background is more of a yellow in this. It's more of a yellow feeling light. Even though I use white lights <laughs> for recording, uh, it's more of a yellow feeling, uh, which is why we add the blue. I'll select every clip and then try to make each clip as close to the first original one that I made. Uh, you just really want a uniform thing. You really want to color correct in the beginning if possible, but you don't want to keep it on the whole time you're editing because of the fact that it's so demanding. Now, for gaming videos, it's kind of harder to do. Normally, you would just create an adjustment layer and put that over your video. But unfortunately, gaming videos, it'll, they'll be messed up if you do that, and you definitely don't want that. That's pretty much how I edit my video. In, in, a, in a short, compact video here, uh, that's basically how I edit my videos. I may have forgotten a few steps. Uh, it normally takes me maybe an hour, an hour and a half to or to edit a video. Uh, it really all depends on the video because all the time I will watch e every second of a video just to like cut and edit stuff in, like stuff like that. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna show you every step I take because each indiv each individual video is unique in what you need to add to it. Like, if there's a certain joke or if you want to add a certain effect. You'll do what you need to do for your specific video. I know I didn't really explain all too much. That's how I edit my videos. It's really simple. Gaming videos are simple. You just cut. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't really meant to be informative of how to edit a video, just to show you how I edit my videos. I could have gone into depth, made a whole long video about it, but I'll spare you guys the time. That was the short version. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.